We're ready for Coach Bennett. Just raise your hand and we'll call on you in order. We'll start in front with Jeff White and then CL. Tony, I'm sure Thomas was down on himself a little yeah. bit after that foul on Keeling. Did you say anything to him in the huddle during the timeout? Well, I just, no, we just drew up the play that we, you know, we work on, and I thought um, Kihei's poise was terrific in that. I thought we made some plays, Mamadi's and one, and then to make the free throw, and then um, after the, you know, again, I'll look forward to seeing it. If it was a bad foul or he just couldn't stop himself, but that's a deflating um, moment. But, you know, he uh, he certainly stepped up. He was 6 of 10 from 3, but for Kihei to get down the floor to find him and then Thomas to stick it, uh, that was that was as good as it gets. So that was an exciting moment for us, for sure, because we've been on the other end of that. And um, you know, there's such a small margin, you know, between winning and losing in Carolina. I, I feel for them in that regard because they've been close and they've been hit by the injury bug in a way that um, you know a lot of teams haven't. So you know, I'm sure they they're battling the ups and downs. We've been so close in every game, and you know, it was an important game for us. So. Thankful for how our guys responded, and I thought we made plays down the stretch as they did too. See ya. At, at what point, Tommy, did did Clark become the man in these tight situations, like confident enough to, yeah. to make a play like he did? And I obviously think back to Purdue game last yeah. year in the tournament. Like, when when do you feel like he kind of grew into that? Probably since he's been like seven or eight years old. I got a feeling. I think he's always been one of those. You know, when I saw him play in the EYBL, he was the MVP of the um, championship game, you know, on a very high end. The floor was all the McDonald's All-Americans and highly touted players. He has something in him. He did it, you know, last year in different games in different ways. And, uh, and he didn't play his best game in certain ways, but, you know, there's a lot on his plate. Um, but he makes the plays. He's tough, and he stepped up in the second half. And uh, it, some guys just have it inside of him. And he is, he's, you know, he's a warrior or whatever word you want to use, he's got it. And, um that was that was he came with that. So whoever gave him to that, guys, mom and dad, we give him thanks. Okay. Take one of the back, Mike Barber. Yeah. Uh, Tony, what is Tomas's obviously his three point shooting? What has that added to you? Uh, and how confident are you right now with with him out there in the perimeter? Yeah, for um, you know bo both teams, Carolina and us, our, our inconsistency shooting the ball has cost us at times and has been hard to overcome. So when all of a sudden you get that and I thought we left one on the board at Louisville when he shot it so well and we had some chances and left some points out there but to capitalize on a 6 for 10 and for us a 9 for 21 those are numbers we're not used to seeing so um, it just opens it up a bit inside for uh, you know the interior players Casey joined you know he had a couple of threes and um, Cody did a good job so it just gives you the balance that you need to be a efficient quality offensive basketball team you have to hit some outside shots you can go inside and touch the paint. So um, that, that gives us the balance that we're desperate for. Okay, Kip and then Doug and then Jeff again. Tony, uh, your bench has not been a big scoring unit this year, but tonight a 17-0 differential. What, um, what changed? Yeah, I, you know, Francisco played real well for us. Cody did and um, Casey did. You know, they gave us those lifts that, again, we haven't had just like we haven't shot. So you to, to come in here, um, forget about records and to beat them you need some things to happen you need to shoot it well you need to get more people playing uh, well and so that was perfect timing and I hope again we can capitalize on that and um, but bench scoring three-point shooting free throws all those things are huge for us okay. Doug over here you may have touched on this as we were coming down the stairs but talk about Thomas's composure yep and just from the opening of the season till now and has he always been like this he's really improved I mean he's if, if you talk to him and you're around him and he's a very you know steady um, calm person but I think he um, yeah no he's unaffected and I, I don't know if, because he didn't grow up here and he doesn't understand hey this is Carolina this is the ACC he just plays he's real hard and critical on himself and um, you know he, he just works hard on his shot he's getting more comfortable where the shots come and I thought he got some really good screens again tonight and guys found him and he has um, he's a bit of a streaky shooter so when he gets his, his rhythm and his timing you want to try to find him and again to do that at that setting was was big time. Jeff and then Mike. Casey had a really big contribution tonight off the bench. Have, have you been seeing progress from him in practice leading up to this? I think so you know it's a lot I have and I thought I saw it in the last game I thought he gave us a nice lift <laughs> And so, um, you know, he, both he again and Cody gave us some uh, are on the perimeter. Any depth we can get on the perimeter is important. So 
Uh, but Casey, I thought he made some strides in the last game, has had a couple couple weeks of some solid practices. So, uh, you know, obviously his, his percentages aren't great, but that doesn't matter. Every game it starts anew, and um, to bang a couple of those threes and make some plays, and we know he can guard the ball, uh, that really helped us with no turnovers. Okay. Mike. Again, sorry if you did this before, but the foul on the three-point shot with 10.3 seconds left, what was your advantage of that, your reaction to that? Do you say anything to Tomas at that point, or do you say something to him? I couldn't tell uh, if he ran through him. You know, we were in that at Wake Forest. It was the same situation. And, um, you know, we've been on the other end of that in a good way, uh, <coughs> I recall, last year. So, you know, you you got to just um, tell your guys, try not to foul. I don't. You guys could probably answer it better than I did. Did he clearly follow him? What was, should we take a vote here or not? <laughs> so he ran into him. So that's frustrating. But you could feel it, as I said, deflate. It was deflating in the um, in the huddle. But but he had his chance and he answered. And I said, if you're going to follow, then make the three. That's a way to erase it. So he did that. Okay. Any other questions for coach? Thank you. All right. Thanks. We'll have them.